Hello, my students. You're most likely writing your Lesbachrup tomorrow, or maybe writing it in the morning. Oh, you're probably doing some last minute prep, aren't you? Aren't you? Oh, uh, maybe you're just here in 2026, 20, 2027. You're just here for the ride. But yeah, uh, let us get into some nice Lesbachrup tips. A biki, a biki venka. Okay, a few tips. Yeah, so I've been told I need to stop rambling in my videos. Uh, okay, I'll stop. But let me just tell you one more joke. Okay. What do you call someone that speaks loudly? Mike. <laughs> how's, how's, how's that one? Okay, look, if you laughed, can you just let me know in the comments, please? Uh, if you didn't laugh and you think I'm like absolutely atrocious and like the worst YouTuber ever to exist, um, you can also tell me in the comments. Honestly, it's fine. It's fine. I'm here to help. So, Lies Bukhrup tips. Firstly, read the questions first. Asa belief, leaf. Please do it first. Reason being, that way, when you actually go through the passage, never in depth, right? Because time is always going to be an issue, especially in a language paper. You're reading for meaning and not all willy-nilly. Which brings me to point two. Just skim it. Literally skim it. Like, just do it quick, quick. Okay? This is not English home language or Afrikaans home language or... I mean, look, if you're doing Afrikaans FAL, I mean, all of you are doing English HL. So you know exactly what I mean. Like, this is not like severely in depth you know where you have to like understand like the true meaning behind materialism where you have to like factor in this controversial issue of cultural appropriation throughout the entire bakhrips or maybe it's about feminism or gender inequality or you know some like really heavy issue that requires you to like take some sort of stance you know what i mean this is going to be about, like, in the past I've seen Rafense, Trevor Noah. It's typically, like, autobiographical more often than not. It's genuinely about a person. It's not going to be about a heavy issue. Look, this is FL, man. Like, over here, they're just kind of testing, like, vocab in the entire paper. Do you understand Afrikaans? Do you know what's happening here? That's it. So, so skim it. We're not reading for meaning. For now. Okay? These are just the level ones and twos. Okay? It gets a little bit more... In depth, it gets a little bit more intense uh, when you get to the level four questions. When they start asking stuff like dunk ye, okay, that's going to be point six. Then you have to give your own opinion and then you can look for meaning. But for now, with the first few questions, just move it along, little buddy. Next, identify the main ideas and key details. So just like what's what? Is it an autobiography about a person? Know where they were born, what their mother did, what their father did, how they became, you know, there was a nice one about Huma Sikela, I think in 2018, uh, you know, how we started playing, I believe it was the trumpet. And all that. So just the main ideas and, and the key details. Like, know what's what. And look, your vocab is probably not all that good. I, I would imagine, right? You are an Afrikaans FA. Okay, look, my 70, 80, 90 percenters. Yeah, yeah. You, you guys are cooking. Not all of us are so sharp, okay? Look, to all my, my beautiful 20 to like 60 percenters, all you guys, I know you probably don't know many Afrikaans words in general, right? You've kind of been slacking since you were in grade three. Okay, look, am I being too mean? Am I? Yeah, I think so. Look. I'll be gentle. I'll, 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 I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Yeah. There are a lot of words that you're not going to understand here. And you need to try your best to make sense of it. Maybe you won't understand a specific word. But if you read further, maybe you'll try to, you know, like maybe there'll be a keyword that you know there in Afrikaans. Or maybe like a word that sounds like English that you can, can kind of like pick up on. Do you, do, you, do you know what I mean? Like, um, look, I do a lot of like private work with some students. There was a word, Rollstuhlfriendelik. My student has absolutely no idea what that word meant okay that that's a v so roll is roll stool is chair and friendelik is friendly so a rolling chair friendly it's wheelchair friendly that's what it meant so that's what i meant by just read for meaning and you know try and figure it out you know there's a lot of psalm styling compound words in afrikaans try and break it out figure what's cutting what is clapping highlight key words typically like the adjectives like vat, var, varmia, hukom, you know, the five WH, like all the question words. Um, yeah, just know what the question is asking. Know some keywords. Like, for example, day means indicate. And afle is like, where can we derive this from? Like, what's the derivative? Okay, not like, you know, F prime X for all my math kids who are traumatized by the paper. Yeah, like little things like that. Things that appear often more, more than not. Uh, look for clues. Okay, there are going to be... Quite a few clues in the Bakhrips, maybe it's in the picture, about what it's about. Little, like, tips and tricks coming from the text. Some paragraphs are more important than others. Sometimes there's more meat in it. And infer meaning beyond the text. Okay, look, this is especially for those level four questions. Dunke, like, what do you think? Like, for example, with, with Huma Sikela, right? He's a, a very important black musician that hails from a township in South Africa during apartheid. And he fought not with his fists, but with his instrument, right? 
Uh, and, you know, why do you think he was an important figure? Well, he can in- inspire the youth, the youth of South Africa that are typically coming from townships that are extremely disadvantaged. They can aspire to be more. You know what I mean? The questions are usually in chronological order. Look, usually. Please don't fight with me in the comments. Oh, my teacher said this. My teacher said that. Look, okay? For now, I am your teacher. No, I'm joking. I'm, jo- I'm joking. Look, I'm, I'm not your teacher. I'm just, I'm just some dude on YouTube, really. Like, thank you for giving me your time, honestly. But, yeah, like, look, more often than not, it's going to be in chronological order. So, like, for example, question one is coming from paragraph one. Question two is coming from paragraph two. And question three, it might still be in paragraph two. And so on and so forth. And look, manage your time wisely. Look, the paper is only 70 marks. The look, the whole of like this like, text R, text beer is going to be for a grand total of 30 marks. The comprehension itself is like usually like 25. Text B is like five or six marks. Um, so yeah, look, in this 25 marker, spending an hour on it and then leaving an hour for... Sorry, sorry, sorry. This paper's out of 80 marks. You're, that's a major slip up, like I'm Gerard in the Premier League. Like, if you got the soccer reference, thank you. Just you can explain it in the comments if you like. Paper's out of 80 marks, right? So spending like an hour on the 25 mark comprehension is probably not the best decision. Then all of a sudden, you're leaving a quick 55 marks right until the end. So yeah, I would try to say like push this and like maybe if you can, like 35, 40, 45 minutes, anywhere there, you know, you should be fine. So yeah, just some last minute tips for the Liespechrip, for the comprehension. Okay. I know a few of you think a comprehension is comprehensive. Yeah, I've seen it. I've seen it. Okay. Love you. Bye. Thanks for watching.